Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So last week we had uh, one of our contributing writers, uh, Harold Johnson, uh, write about having an old PC and that it was kind of falling apart and it was time that he got a new PC. So over the weekend, guess what? He got a new PC. Uh, and yay, it's kind of everyone celebrate when someone gets a new computer. That's good news. Uh, but in, in setting up the new PC and in, in, in getting everything going, he recognized that there are a few tips he wanted to pass along for people who get new PCs. And granted, most of our audience has probably received a new PC at some point in their life. Uh, but before you start playing with that new PC, there are a few tips we wanted to share with you. Uh, and and if, if you've already done it before, cool. Share this article with someone who just got a new PC whenever they get a new PC. Just keep this on hand, the LockerGnome.com article that we linked in the description or this video itself. Uh, top tip is cleaning up your workspace. So before you get started, clean things up. Uh, so, uh, you know, before you set up the computer, clear away the clutter and just kind of make it look fresh and new, just just like it is. Uh, I mean, unless you really like living in cords and cables and clutter. My suggestion is just make your uh, office uh, look a little nicer and maybe that upgrade will feel a little nicer too. Uh, second suggestion, install all the updates and service packs. Uh, even though it's a new computer to you, it may have been on the shelf for three months and uh, the software may have been updated, either the software from the manufacturer, drivers and, and desktop apps and or the operating system uh, drivers or, or uh, uh, profiles may need to be updated. So that's the first thing you want to do. Before you even start playing with the first program or installing anything, install all the updates and service packs. Number three, and remember, this article is linked on Locker Gnome that you can go, you can print out, you can hand it to somebody, you can just link it, uh, you can keep it in your Google bookmarks, you can plus one it. I mean, Keep this on hand, if not for you, then for someone you know, because you don't want to have to step them through this, right? You want them to do it. Uh, the next step, and this is not for people who buy... Are you done, Wicket? He was shaking his head. I was getting there. This article is not necessarily... Uh, or, I shouldn't say this article. This particular tip that I'm about to reveal uh, that's on the article is not for those who have a Mac. Uh, it's for those who buy a Windows PC, because the next tip is to remove bloatware. So OEMs, in order to make money, install a whole bunch of crap on your computer, like games and uh, ha half-assed programs and junk in the system train. It's, it's just getting in the way. You, you don't necessarily need all that stuff. Uh, so be careful when it comes to removing bloatware. But there's a possibility for you to go through the installed programs in the control panel and uninstall applications that you know you don't need, like games. Uh, it's just taking up space on your hard disk that you paid good money for. You don't want to use those games anyway. I mean, really. I've never seen uh, a decent game ship with uh, a computer. Usually you have to download them from the web, either from uh, the Apple's, uh, or the Mac store on OS X or from uh, the, or the, yeah, it's the Mac app store. Sorry, not the Mac store. There's no makeup store on the Mac. Mac store. It's makeup. Apple store is where you buy uh, the next suggestion is uh, clean up your drive, uh, and uh, that would be if you're migrating from one computer to another before you do that data transfer, make sure you're just copying what you need to copy, uh, and then when you've copied everything over and you've got a fresh start, clone it. We just did an article of three free ways you can clone in Windows XP uh, on LockerGnome.com that we linked from this very article itself, so we've got a few starter steps uh, for those of you who are buying a new computer, maybe it's just a reminders list. And do you guys have, honestly, and I know many of you have done this before, do you have any tips for people who are just getting a new computer, what they need to do before they even start playing with anything that came with the computer or what they purchased the computer for? Suggestions you might have, leave a comment here or in the article itself. And again, feel free to share it with uh, other people.